Hello everyone, you're welcome to my channel. Today I'll be making a simple kimono dress. I want you to follow me as we go along. So I'm going to be using a plain and pattern material, as you can see. It's cut into two, two yards. So I folded it into two together. And this is the algorithm I'll be following. The first thing on my algorithm is to lay. And that is why I folded into two. So can you see the pattern and the plane? So you just fold it into equal halves. The next thing is to measure, take your vertical measurements. So my vertical measurements, the first one I need is the waist. My waist is 16, but I will use 16 and half because of the half to join the shoulder. So I'll mark it. And my hip line, my hip line is 23. I'll use 23 and half because of the shoulder line. So that's all I need. So you can either make this dress a short gown or a long gown. And if you look at this side here, you can see that this is the side where I'll be bringing out the neck. And it's the side that is opened up. That's because it's kind of asymmetric. We'll be joining um, the pattern on one side and the plane on the other side. So that's why it's that way. So I'm going to, from here, remember that I'm going to take it in. I'll have to join it. So I'll mark half inch. You can use half, you can use one inch. I'll mark half inch. So from that half inch, that's where I'll measure my shoulder. Now we get to my shoulder, is it that you put your tape at, the at your center back? If you put your hand there, you see something very round here. You put your tape at the center back and measure to wherever you want your length, the length of your sleeve to be. Or you use your normal shoulder measurement divided by two, then you add your sleeve length to hit. So now if I want to use my normal shoulder measurement, my shoulder measurement is 15. 15 divided by two is seven and a half. So I'll be using a sleeve length of seven and a half. So when I add it together, it will give me seven and a half plus seven and a half will give me 15. So I'll mark out 15. After getting my 15, from that point there, I will add my seam allowance. I added just half inch. Then I would, from that half inch point, I'll come down by two inches. This time around, you can see that I'm not using three quarters as my shoulder slope because of the nature of clothes we are cutting. So I'll be using two inches. So I, I measured two inches there. Hope you can see the two inches. Then I'll come to where my neck begins. Remember, we are not starting from the edge. We are starting from the half inch. So I'll measure three inches as my neck width and come down again by three inches as my neck depth i'll be using the same neck width and depth for both the front and back then i'll take my normal shoulder measurement which is seven and a half plus half inch that's eight then from that point i will divide this from this three inch width i will divide it into two so i'll measure from here to here and divide into two so i have five there so i'll divide it into two to give me two and a half so from this point here that's where i would curve my neckline because i want to use a boat neck it depends on the kind of um, neck you want to use but i want to use a boat neck that's why i'm using this method so that's that and i will join my shoulder slope down to this point two inches here from this point so i'll join it together so the next thing now is to measure our sleeve now my round sleeve is 15 15 divided by two will give me seven and half so this is seven and a half plus a seam allowance of one inch and also half to join at the shoulder here. So that makes it nine inches. 
so i would just try and rule it out yeah this is nine i'll rule it out this way i'll also try and get a straight curve a straight line there remember anything you are doing you're starting from half here so i'm just doing this to be able to attain a straight line so i've gotten a straight line now on this particular line here that's where i'm going to bring out my my bust measurement you can decide to measure half here yeah, this half measure it straight and rule it so that you don't make a mistake so the bust measurement i'll be using is 39 so 39 divided by 4 will give me 9 3 quarter So this is nine three quarter. Then I will add ease to this clothes because this clothes is a free one. So the ease I want to use is one and a half, but you can use one inch if you don't want it to be too loose. You can use as much as two inches depending on how big you want it to look on you. But I'll be using one and a half. So this is one, one and a half. That's the ease. Then I will add my seam allowance to heat i'll add one inch seam allowance to join it together so that's it over there then i will come to my waist my waistline here i'll start from this half i'll mark it also my waist the waist i want to use is 40 so 40 inches Divided by 4 will give me 10. Then 10 plus 1 and half for his. And also 1 inch for the same allowance. I'll also come to my hip line here. And measure the hip. The hip, the, the hip I'll be using is 41. So 41 divided by 4 will give me 10 and quarter. So I'll mark 10 and quarter. And from this 10 and quarter now, I'll add my ease of 1 and half. Ease of 1 and half plus seam allowance of 1 inch. So now from this hip line, I'm going to take it down straight to whatever I want my length to be. Whether it's a short dress or a long dress. So now let's connect it together. So the I'm making a long dress. And I'm using 58 as the gown length. I'm going to measure 58 and add the same, the same allowance that I need for the hem at the edge. So measure 58. So this is 58 here. And I'll just add the same allowance of one and half. So I'll rule, I'll rule a straight line. You remember the half inch that we need in joining together at the front? I marked it there. And then I would measure what I used as my hip over there but if you want something flowing you can decide to increase it at the hem side here so i used my hip divided by four that's 11 and quarter plus one and half 
for the his and one inch seam allowance so that's what i used but because it's a long gun i can just decide to add extra one inch at the edge if it's a short gun you can just leave it straight so now i'll start marking this i'll use my ruler to connect the line together till i get to the hip So after doing that now, I can't just leave this side like this, there has to be a curve. So I'll come down by 2 inches this way. And I'll come in like an angle, I'll come in by 1 inch this way. And also from this line here, this point, I'll measure 1 inch inwards. Then. I can connect this line to this point here. So from these two inches here, I will just make a curve this way. So this is our gown. I'm going to cut it. So this is the way I'm going to cut it now. I'll cut the neck this way. I'm not going to need this again. Come in this way. And straight down. So let's let's cut it now. So I finished the cotton. This is it. So now if you need a pocket for this clothes, you are just going to measure to around 17 18 inches depending on your height so that's where your pockets will be so i'm going to take the measurements now and mark it i'm using 17 and from that point i'm going to mark seven inches or six and a half depending on how big your hand is and I will notch so that I will know that that's the point for the pocket. Just a little notch, please. Okay. So in cutting the pocket now, I notch six and a half for my pocket, and this is six and a half already. You can make it a bit excess. Use seven. So I'm just going to try and search out the point where i can get seven inches here so i'll mark it i ruled it out that way then i'm going to place my hand this way you leave a little bit of allowance and just mark it 
Haut. So this is my pocket and I'm going to cut that pocket into two. So this is what each of it will look like. 